What is up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. I feel like I always use that same voice whenever we do a channel. sit down, and sit you, down video. And you draw out channel. Channel. Mm -hmm. Today we are doing a Q&A of all the juicy questions. This is the first sit down video we've done in the new house and we haven't done like a Q&A in so long. Yeah, like a really long time. We just didn't know what to film today if I'm being honest with you guys. We, no, we really <laughs> wanted to do a Q&A. But we have seen a lot of questions. I get questions on Instagram a lot. So I thought, you know what, let's sit down. Let's answer some questions. Let's get juicy today. Let's really get into it. Put our soul into it and oh, just dive right in. We're not into it. Okay. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe, follow us on Instagram, TikTok, all the fun things. Let's go ahead and get on into the juicy, juicy, juicy questions. I thought this was an interesting question. And this question goes both ways. And it's, do you like your in-laws? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I don't think we've ever had any issues. Yeah. Same goes for me. I feel like, yeah, it's fine. I've never had an issue. Wow. <laughs> I wish I had like a juicy story. Not that I wish that I had problems with my in-laws, yeah. but like, I don't have a juicy answer. We both we're good. Next question. Are you currently trying for another baby? No. Are you? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Is that what we're going to go after? No. I feel like we're, we're not secretly doing any like trying for babies. I mean, we have like our sperm ready when the moment's right. We've been talking about the process we want to take. But we also have a trip planned in, when is it, March? March. So we don't want Julia to be pregnant while we're at Disneyland, especially in her first trimester. See, I, I was like, I don't care. But she was like, you'll care. You'll so, care. Trust okay, me, you'll care. Yeah, Comment so. down below if you've ever been pregnant. Would you want to be in your first trimester, like newly pregnant in Disneyland? Walking all around, miles and miles of walking, it's hot outside, you feel nauseous. I think I'm very naive because I'm like, I'll be fine. <laughs> Babe, no. You do that same thing though before you go That's pregnant. true, that's true. I think you'll be okay. I don't think you're gonna like have a super hard time, but I think that you have this idea that it's gonna be like super easy breezy. And there's 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 some things that are not fun. Well, every time I say that I'm gonna keep working out while I'm pregnant, she's like, no, you're not. But now I mean, it makes me mad. That's why I would prove a point to you that I will. I also said I was going to work out my entire pregnancy and look how that worked out. <laughs> I'm not saying you'll never work out, but I think that you won't be doing what you do now. We'll see. I wanna know how your sex life is postpartum. This um, one's for you. Oh, hi. <laughs> you know it's postpartum. I don't know. Guys, I have pelvic floor dysfunction. Yeah. <laughs> no, your body changes so much after pregnancy. Like, you, no matter how you give birth, like, things down there are just, like, not right. It's a you, learning curve. You have to do your Kegels. Babe, don't expose me on the internet. Like <laughs> I'm saying you haven't been doing them. <laughs> you, I could be doing them right now. That's true. I don't actually know what's going on down there most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's fine. It's normal. It's the same as it always has been. I I just it's a little bit different for me because like things are different when you have a baby you'll understand if you haven't had a baby you see i didn't think that it would be that much of an issue because you got a c-section yeah and i was talking to my doctor about that and she said that it doesn't matter just the way that like and especially like for me i dilated so far and harbor was like right there you know i was you ready. were almost you were i think you ended up being like six centimeters yeah before and he was really low i think it just kind of like messed everything up down there and like also your organs move around down there and like you know what i mean it's not I the guess. same it's not the same but see i won't have any of those issues. There's a fly in here. It's distracting. That's like a fly from yesterday. Also, how, how do you know, know you're not going to have those issues? I was just kidding, but then oh. you brushed over my joke. When I was a child, I was told that flies only live for one day, and that is not mm -hmm. true. Because whenever a fly gets in our house, it's been here for, for like weeks. two days. This is a funny one. Do you like any other color besides sage green? And that's a good question. The answer, answer is no. no. What are you talking about? We like <laughs> all shades of green. Yeah. <laughs> like it's not just sage green, guys. It's forest green, emerald green. No, but for reals, we do really love green. And we also might be painting our living room green, greenish blue. Eh. We were just talking about this. Apparently it's very controversial what color we're painting our living room. And most people disagreed with what color we wanted to paint it. But it's like... <sighs> I think we just need to do what makes us okay, happy. Okay, I got a DM that said, like, you only live once, like, this is your house, do what you want to do. Like, I think if you yeah. want to go funky, do it. And I was like, you know what? I like you. You are right. You are right. Whoever sent that DM, I should go find them. Because I was like, oh, I need to reply to that. And then I didn't because I got busy. But I should find that DM and reply because I was like, <laughs> sis knows what they're talking about. Are you guys going to do a house tour when the house is done? I feel like genuine, like, realistically, the house is never going to be done you in our eyes. You said genuinely. Gen like, What's the generally. word? Generally. You can never say that word. Gen. Generally. I can't say that word. 
Generally. 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 Anyway, what was general. Our, <laughs> our house will never be done. I feel like in our eyes, like, I don't know. It's just never going to be done. You know, there's always going to be something we could do. But yes, but I we might do a house tour. Yeah. This is an interesting question because they said, what do you do for work? And I feel like I get so many questions. Every single time I do an Instagram Q&A, people always ask mm -hmm. what we do for work. Yeah, because go. you used to work like well into like us doing YouTube before yep. we both started doing this. But the answer is we both stay home. We both do this full time. So I quit my job. You were like halfway through your pregnancy. Yeah, I was like really 20 bad. weeks pregnant, I think. And I, I quit so I could spend more time with you and because um, I knew that I wanted to not be working. Right. I, well, I wanted to be working from home during Harper's like first parts of life and now he's almost a year old and I'm still not working because we don't really we don't need that right now we don't need any extra sources of income so I might as well right you know at some point even if we don't need it I might go back I yeah. don't know we, it's just something Julia in the air likes to, to do things she really likes stuff in real estate that's what she was doing before and I feel like you might pick it up later when I don't feel like I need you around all the time like when I finally get bored I'll be like can you please go <laughs> like go. get a job like get a life <laughs> but that's funny because it goes into the question that was literally like three Three questions down from this one which was have you ever had a real job <laughs> the answer is no yeah we've had a lot of jobs in our day yeah we've worked really really hard also social media is a job it's definitely a lot of work I feel like people think that it's just like we turn the camera on and then we upload the video and we're good but there's like so much that like goes along behind the scenes yeah. and there's a lot of like talking to people and calls and going back and forth I feel like it's not as much work now as it used to be like when we first started doing it, it was a lot we more did work everything we were... ourselves which yeah. was like really really hard especially like learning because like our jobs had nothing to do with social media when we like got into mm -hmm. this so we didn't really have any like resources yeah. but now we finally have help we have awesome people that help us and it makes our lives so much better right like, amazing 10 out of 10 yeah it, and it gives us more time to focus on actually making videos although to be honest we don't put a lot of like creativity into our videos anymore it's I just so hard i feel like <laughs> i don't know something about like the pandemic and like everything that's gone on these past couple of years had made my like creativity not as strong like i still love filming i love posting things i'm talking with my hands so Sometimes much we just don't know what to do yeah, you know? it's just so hard because I feel like it's boring right now. You know, a lot of people are inside, a lot of people aren't doing a bunch of stuff. Also, we live in Utah, it's like negative 20 degrees. <laughs> like, I hope that like our videos can be as fun as they used to be, you know? Yeah. But if you guys have any video ideas, yeah, if you guys have any let us know. Well, we need it. <laughs> Somebody asked why we stopped doing notification shout outs. I feel like I do yeah. we get that question a lot so in the often. comments too. I don't know the full reason. It ended up just being I feel like it was hard to know who we had done, who we hadn't done. Yeah. And, it, we had to screenshot them and then like save them and then make sure that it wasn't like But I guess it didn't person, really matter like we had done someone before. But then what if we like gave someone a notification shout out like three times in a row? Oh, you know what else happened? Somebody who we had given a notification shout out to started threatening us via email. Oh, yeah. I don't remember what their threats were. They were saying a bunch of crazy stuff. What's and then it? but I recognized their name in their email from we had given them a notification shout out yeah. and it just I don't know. I just felt weird. We started feeling weird about it. It him was kind of it a pain also in the became butt. hard when like Harvard was born when he was first a newborn and we were trying to end a video and he was crying and we were trying we to sit there and scroll trying try and find, find it and people weren't really wanting them anymore it seemed because no one was really commenting yeah. um for it anymore so we just kind of thought that no one really cared we just like thought that, that like no one cared about we just us. thought no one liked us and we might as well just stop who are your favorite youtubers and tiktokers myself i'm just kidding <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. I really like watching Cell Vagabond. Is that how you say it? Cell Vagabond? Mm. I don't know if you guys watch them. I really like watching their videos because like my life is literally nothing like yeah. theirs. That's the thing. I think we like people who aren't like us. Yeah, I watch a lot of people that like are like way cooler than us, like actually have a real life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I really like watching them. Um, TikTok, I literally just scroll on my For You page and I don't really I don't have, follow like, a ton of people on TikTok. Yeah. I just do it for you. I page. follow people, but I don't like watching who I follow as much as I like just for you page yeah. mindless going you know what I mean yeah but even on I think a lot of the people that I do follow on TikTok are kind of along the same lines of people that like are nothing they're like funnier people. than me they have cooler better fashion looking. sense than me they're better looking than me <laughs> <laughs> no yeah I feel like I follow a bunch of like moms on TikTok so I don't follow any moms on TikTok really? yeah hmm. someone said will you stay in the honey house forever 
I would like to. Moving was like not my thing, that and I'm sucked. just like that was not fun. That was literally the worst. Of also, you were started. extremely depressed when you were moving. Yeah, I was like really <laughs> depressed, really anxious. <laughs> so it was like really, really hard. But I was also really sick. So I don't know. It just I feel like I just want to stay here forever, but also I can't tell the future. You know, like maybe down you the never line know. we'll think, oh, we need something smaller, or we need something bigger, or we. You know. But that is why we got this house. Well, not why, but it was one of the benefits of this house mm -hmm. is that it. It's something we can grow into right. more also, so I think that we don't really have a, a reason to, unless right. we're like switching like out of this town. Yeah, maybe. unless we have a reason to go out of state or whatever. Someone said, what is your dream home even if money didn't matter? And that's an interesting question because I feel like, we were talking about this the other day, even if we had millions and millions of dollars to buy a house, we honestly yep. probably would have still bought something similar to this. Yeah. This has always been like our dream house is to have something like we have now. We've always yeah. talked about like the brick house and old details about it. I think in the past when we've talked about it, we've talked about like older houses, mm -hmm. not the 50s because the 50s isn't like super old, obviously. Yeah. So, so maybe that's we would buy thing, an older but, home. But even with this house being the age that it is, like there's some stuff that's kind of a pain in the butt, you yeah. know? Yeah, I don't know. I would never buy like a big giant modern house though. It's just not my thing. Why is someone asking what underwear company I wear? Like what in the world? <laughs> They're trying to be perver, babe. They're trying to be a perv. I see what you're trying to do. This one says, do you plan to show Harbor uh, the donor? I don't know if you mean like introduce Harbor to the donor or say like here's a picture of your donor. I mean all we can do is say here's a picture, here's the information we know. We don't know yeah. him so we can't be like here he is, you right. know. I can't even do that so. Yeah. I feel like only if he asks. Like we have all this stuff for him like when he turns yeah, 18. Yeah, lots of information. Yeah, lots of info. I think it's normal to be curious. And I'm sure okay. he will be curious. And if he becomes curious before the age of 18 then sure he can have all that information yeah. and do what he wants. I think legally you have to be 18 to reach out, doesn't he? No. He doesn't? I mean, kind of. It's he like can do whatever he wants because like he's his own person. I guess, you know? yeah. But I think, I, so the donor requested to be a non-ID donor. So right. that means he did, the donor didn't want necessarily people reaching out to him. Right. But you could tell he's a nice person because in some of the interviews he's done, they would ask him, what would you do if someone were to reach out to you? Right. And he just said, you know, like, I gave your family a gift and I hope you appreciate that. This is who I am. You know, yeah, yeah. I think that's but, why we chose him. It was really like kind. Yeah. It was very. It, it was not like, hey, I'm your dad. It's like you know, this is also something I did for like, your family. I don't want and, anything to do with you. Right. You don't matter to me. It was very like. I thought it was a nice approach to it. Yeah. What he said. So, and it's kind of the same thing that because I, I am an egg donor, mm -hmm. and it's the, kind of the same approach that I have about like if someone were to reach out to me. So I just I thought that was nice, and it's also it's good to have that perspective always. Right. Yeah. Does Julia ever struggle with not feeling connected with Harbor? Oh, that's a good question. I, I've never struggled with that. I'm a, I'm a clingy kind of girl. <laughs> when I can't came literally out, get her away from me. I put my claws into him and I haven't let him go. It's <laughs> so weird because people always assume that you're going to be the one with issues about like attachment or connection or whatever, but it yeah. was the opposite. I carried him and I had a harder time connecting with him than you did. Yeah. I had those issues rather than you. Not that I like had issues like not loving him, but it was like hard in the beginning to like get into it and feel like, oh my gosh. You also like, had a lot of like hormone stuff going on. Yeah. And so there was a lot of... Yeah, I was like half dead. So like... I have True. an excuse. <laughs> I was like literally dying. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like everybody assumes that it would be you, but no, it was actually me. But I feel like that's pretty much it. That's it. Do you have any other juicy questions for us? Jeez, we're so boring. I was like, trying to find like interesting questions, but we get so nothing to boring. see. And everyone's like, why don't you have friends? Like guys, stop asking us that. Stop asking us why we don't have friends. <laughs> kind of embarrassing. And you guys are like throwing me under the bus. Like, have friends. You're just not here right now. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to go take a nap. All right. Uh, I'm gonna take your hair out. Do we start? Yeah. <laughs> Julia, don't throw me into this. I do not wear extensions. Like, not, this That's what she always does when the video ends. I even, take all my extensions. Sometimes we haven't even done like a thumbnail or anything and we need to, and she's just a second before the camera. And off. then I'm like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're done talking. <clears throat> Thanks so much for watching. See you later. I dressed Wait, up for this video today. Days. What do you guys think? We used to do twerk of the days. Twerk of the day, twerk of the day, twerk, 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 twerk of the day, twerk of the day, twerk of the day, twerk, 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 twerk of the day. That is it. What are you talking about? You're really good. Babe, she doesn't know what she's talking about. All right.